So the way that this actually plays out, it's easier to see in the context of an example. So let's go back to our example from the, uh, the banana game. Okay. So here's the U and the U bar matrix from the banana game. This is, um, oh, actually I got it. I, I wrote them backwards, didn't I? Doesn't matter. So there's one player who gets zero no matter what. Yep, that's the was, uh, friend. That's yeah, Curly. Yeah, that was Curly before. And then there's one who can get either two, zero, or four, depending on which cell they end up pa- playing. And we said that the Nash equilibria were these two corner cases, the two right. and the four. So that gives us a, the purely cooperative game, that, which is the average of the payoffs for the two players, which we're going to uh, compute the value of using maximax. And the purely competitive game from the perspective of the U player, mm-hmm. so U minus U bar over two, which looks like this, so we're going to try to resolve the value by minimax. Then there's the same quantity from the perspective of the U bar player. So it's just the negation of that one, but we're, we're going to compute you know, the minimax value uh, for each of these different games. So from the perspective of the U player, what's the max max value and the minimax value for these games? So let's start with this one. So what's the, the maximizing value? It's the thing you're pointing at. Um, and that's the case where U plays the second row, and U bar plays the second column, and they get these payoffs. Right. We get four bananas. Four bananas uh, that we're going to divide amongst us. Sure. So the minimax value, so what is, what's the score that the row player, U, the U player, the maximum score that it could get for itself? Uh, minus one. You get a minus one. Right. So how, is it, how does it do that? By picking this, this cell, the top row, because the top row, if you're trying to minimize my gains, you're going to choose the left column if I choose the first row. If I choose the second row, you're going to choose the right column. I'm going to do even worse. Right. So the best thing I can do is choose the first row. And I know that, so I'm going to choose the first column. Good. And um, if we negate that, we get a completely analogous analysis. Right. So which column do you choose, this or that, given that you're trying to maximize your value? It would be great if you could choose the second column, but I'm trying to minimize your value, so I'm going to choose the first row if you choose the second column. So the safest thing you can do is choose the first column, and I'm going to need to choose the first row to keep you from switching to go down to that two. Right. All right. So from the perspective of you, the COCO value is the sum of these two things, which is one. And from U bar's perspective, the COCO value is the sum of the min max game and the max max game, which is going to be three. Right. Now we have to de- uh, define side payments. So U's side payments, P, is the COCO value from U's perspective minus the value that U gets in the equilibrium, which in this case is zero. Uh, but in general, it's whatever the utility is according to U of the utility maximizing joint action. And the side payments for U bar are the COCA value from the perspective of Q bar minus the value that U bar gets in the utility maximizing joint action. So in this case, that's one for U minus how much does U get in that game? Zero. Zero. So it's going to be one. Mm -hmm. Whereas uh, from P's perspective, the COCA value is three. Mm-hmm. minus the payment that U bar gets for playing the utility maximizing action, which is four. So we get minus one. Oh, and that makes sense because it better be the case that they are opposite and equal. You have to transfer. And now you've answered my question. Who gets to transfer money from one to the other? That's right. So this the U player is going to get one and the U bar player is going to give one. And that's the one banana exchange. 